there are a very limited number of large cap, but very large cap companies that benefit from COVID. And there are hundreds of companies that get hurt by COVID. So that's why, say, the first 35% of the rally was led by the growth stocks. And now it's being led by, obviously, the last few weeks, the value stocks. Let me just say, you got to have an open mind. The health situation is ever evolving. Um, I don't think anyone, particularly me, knows how it's going to end up. Um, personally, I have still something like Amazon and Microsoft are my largest holdings, but I have the least growth weighting in my portfolio I've had maybe for six or seven years. Um, I don't want your viewers to get too excited about that because as some of your commentators have pointed out correctly, I could change my mind in a week or two. This is very binary how this comes out on the health front. But I just think it's a fascinating time where if you get a vaccine, say by January, February, you get one distinct outcome within the market. And if you don't get a vaccine for a year or two, you get another distinct outcome within the market. Then you've got all the stimulus plans. If they deliver in July, you get one outcome. If they don't, liquidity falls off a cliff and you get another outcome. So as always, I'm staying flexible. Um, but I've been far too cautious. I was, I was up 2% the day of the bottom, and I've made all of 3% in the 40% rally, and I missed a great opportunity here. Won't be the last time, but um, those are my current thoughts, Joe.